In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called quotient rule with negative exponents, problem type 2. We're asked to simplify this expression and to write our answer using only positive exponents. And the steps that we'll use could be done in different orders, but I like to start by making our negative exponents that we currently have positive, doing our simplification, and then if we have any negative exponents after that, making those positive. And I do have some negative exponents, but I'll start by noticing that the negative exponents do not apply to the numbers, our 12 and our 6. And it also doesn't apply to this M9. So the M9 stays in the denominator. But looking at the rest of these, the M negative 1 was in the numerator, but I can move it to the denominator as an M1. The N negative 7 was in the numerator, but I can make that a positive by moving it to the denominator. And then the n negative 4 that was in the denominator, I can move it to the numerator to make it positive. So in my first step, I just move negative exponents either up or down in the fraction to make them positive exponents. And from here, I can continue to simplify. First, looking at those coefficients, we have just numbers 12 and 6. And so 12 over 6 would simplify to a 2, and that 2 would be in the numerator. And my simplification here was just that 6 goes into 6 once, 6 goes into 12 twice. And then if I look at our m's, our m's are both in the denominator. I have an m9 times m1, and I know that when I multiply with the same base, I add the exponents. So in the denominator, that would be an m10. And again, I haven't changed a sign. And then looking at the n's, I have an n4 and an n7. So the same base, n, but they're being divided. So that means I could write that as the base, n, here in the numerator, where the exponent is the 4 from the top minus the 7 from the bottom, 4 minus 7, negative 3. So we have combined all of those like variables. However, I do have a negative exponent, this n negative 3 in the numerator. I would want to write that as a positive exponent. The 2 has a positive exponent. It can stay in the numerator. The m10 has a positive exponent. It can stay in the denominator. The n negative 3 would need to move to become positive. So in the denominator, I would have an n positive 3. This is our simplified expression with only positive exponents.